it is june 10th 2015 we got some pressing topics that have been sur surfacing for some time we're not going to cut we're not going to get in um we're just going to cut right to the chase jade helm is the biggest topic that hasn't been talked about and you have to ask yourself in as i don't think even the elections or anything like that this would be all I can tell you is that I've been listening to some people talk about this in a way that it, it just makes too much sense at something right here. So hold on. Let me let me work on the audio. Okay. Because I did, I had to tape this because it's just a lot of information and I don't know that I want to overwhelm anybody. But I'm going to try to get right to the I'm going to jump, jump right into this and... You know, fill in the blanks from there. <laughs> Literally. Jeez. And they take this equipment like they did in Iraq, and they fill that same void that when we left all our military uh, equipment there. Okay, this is my earlier blog about... Um, um, immigrants get a hold of this military equipment, the guns, all that. Okay, well, let me just let me just catch up to speed. <clears throat> I'm talking about how over the past five or six years we've seen uh, video on YouTube from people taking pictures, just things that just you know, there's so much of it on YouTube. People, just everyday people, going driving past, seeing equipment being moved around throughout the United States from it from trains to location all that okay and this is while iraq we were we we're pulling out iraq right and this was all starting to happen this equipment that equipment over in iraq just stayed there so when we pulled out of iraq and we had a parade we did we did all that we could to bring back our service men and women home and and give them the dignity that they deserved as as people we don't know that We'll, we'll, we'll never know all the stories that happened from the time that some of our soldiers were deployed or not. We just know that they served, they signed up, they thought they were doing the right thing and probably found out that war is as evil and as ugly as possible. Some of the stories, like I said, let's not just, let's not go down that road. The thing is, is Iraq was a vacuum. It, it was it, it imploded. All, all, all we heard Shortly right after we pulled out is that um, attacks were starting to happen. This was last year, Chaldeans in the, uh, Mosul. Um, some of them were raped, murdered, uh, their children taken into captivity, slavery. All our military equipment left there, ISIS takes over. They, now they have the equipment. We've seen that. Pictures, okay? I'm trying to do this the best I can without getting irritated. To them but that's it's a little too late for that okay so anyway now we see this happen in america and all i can think of is what happened in iraq is going to happen in america you have all this equipment being moved around and it, the story about the fbi saying isis is in 50 states and and we have all this equipment in locations where it could be accessed easily if we were overwhelmed by I don't know, supercells that are all throughout the United States. And this is from the FBI. You know, um, even if Jade Helm is just an exercise, let's just assume it's an exercise. That equipment is stationary. And we already have ISIS in parts of the country that they could have access to this equipment. Could you see how this could turn things upside down? So that's where I was at with this. Let's finish that. Could you see how this country could turn inside out. Let's just say that ISIS overwhelmed our military. Just, I'm just hypothetical. Or some foreign troops got a hold and knew where all the locations of all our bases were. They got a hold of equipment that was already positioned for, quote, Jade Helm. Could you imagine how this country would turn inside out so quickly if there were mass beheadings? And then they would use the FEMA camps for the safety of the citizens. It would make perfect sense because Americans would be the victims and naturally they have to have a safe house to go to and the FEMA camps would be, make that possible. 
I'm going to tell you, I'm going to say it like it is. I know this is what parents might be thinking. If somebody would have grabbed your daughter or your son and physically, sexually assault them in the middle of a, an event like this, there's no protection for each American. I mean, everything we have is being ripped from us, stolen from us, from our military personnel to our actual military. And I, I, I'm, I, it's going to be a very confusing situation. Now, let me tell you, it is a little too late for anyone to try to make sense of this. I, I, it shouldn't be going on. And there's no leadership. There's a vacuum of leadership that's not, a, they shouldn't be doing this. That's just the way it is. That's, there's no logical reason for this. If you saw what happened in Iraq, when we pulled out of Iraq, we left all our equipment there. Guess who showed up and, and got the equipment? ISIS. It was a perfect setup for us. We lost so much in artillery and military equipment, and now this is happening, and everything's being distributed in locations. I can't even imagine what this could be. I just, I, my first thought is, you, could you imagine if all this equipment is all stationary and, and we were infiltrated with, by ISIS and they got a hold of, you know, different locations where all this is at? There's serious, seriously, seriously. I can't believe it. Medical ma mass casualty, did you? Because that's a bit odd. Mass casualty units. And this isn't only in Chester County. It's also in Indiana. Portable mortuary units have been ordered. What? I mean, portable... I'm not predicting anything. Let me, let me get this off. Uh, let me get this out the open. I'm not predicting anything. Oh, Lord. I don't, I don't want to. I don't plan Oh, to. my Lord. But what I'm seeing... This is sick. It's not fig fitting the description of what they're saying. Yeah, this doesn't... This nothing what adds up. Uh, too cool. many people agree here. Why are we having mass casualty units and portable mortuary units which are used in the event of a disaster? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Show up. Oh, Lord Almighty, help us. Spotted on the street. Dear Everywhere. Jesus, God, we need your help. We've got to ask the questions. America needs to start asking serious because questions. they're doing something. This is ain't right, we no. We need to take a lot of guesses, a lot of estimated and calculated guesses at oh, what they're Lord. truthfully doing. But we won't know. Just like it said before. Oh. Until a moment before. Yep. That's how it is. This is how this goes. This is There's sickening. Videos there. There's what video is after funny. video. My art this one. Uh, the, this came, uh, I believe it was from Facebook. I can't quite remember. I think it was posted on Facebook. But anyways, uh, that's all the news I've got for right now. We obviously have a very interesting drill coming up here shortly. And... We don't know what it is. And that's, that's, that's alarming because there's a lot of questionable activities that are being taken, are being uh, done and committed by our military. And so it's, 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 it's questions. It's, it's completely okay to make guesses. And uh, I know a lot of us have come up with quite a few different answers, especially a lot of people on YouTube. And that's great. We can guess so much until a moment before. That's kind of what I want to leave you with. What do you guys think is going to happen a moment before? Thank you all for watching. Please check out the website, freedomfighterreports.com. Okay, well, listen. Um, even if it were to go live and people were to question what's going to happen with our military, people are going to have to make a decision, and most likely people are going to do whatever they can to survive. And I don't expect anyone to not react and they're not going to like people aren't going to people are going to see a side of people they're not going to like and they're going to feel betrayed many people are going to be betrayed in this and uh my concern is is that um this is right out of matthew 24 matthew 24 said there'll be wars and rumors of wars is this one of those rumors i don't know I, no one knows but if this when if and when this does go live because they wouldn't set something like this up with mass casualties. I mean, I mean, we're talking mortuaries. I mean, how many people are they, they foresee that are going to die in this? There's no way that our military could discuss this with the civilians.
let's just say it's planet X. Let's say, let's, let's be a little bit, let's go, go less away from the extreme part of it and let's go to the other end of it. Let's say it's planet X or a nuclear disaster. You won't need more tree because nobody will be around to pick up the bodies. And if there is a nuclear disaster, it, everything's contaminated. So I don't know. Um, but a lot of people are uneasy. They're very upset. They have every, they have, they should be. They should be. Because anyone that's ever had any kind of background in military, law enforcement, firefighting, EMS services, I don't know that anybody would want to sign up for this willingly. They might have no choice. I don't know. I really don't. I've never, I, I can't, I mean, you'd have to be half, have I mean, you, no wonder people lose their soul through this because there, I don't think any of us have ever confronted violence that like people in Iraq have or the people of Libya who've had their daughters raped right in front of them. Some parents have woke up and came home from, and this is in Libya, and found their children hacked up in the refrigerator. I don't know that we could ever put words to that. And I'm saying it like it is. I'm not telling you guys that this could happen here, but it's happened in other parts of the country. Why, why is America different? We're not. We are, we are looked upon throughout the world as this very morally debased country. And the only answer is to turn back to God. I, I know that people think that that's not, that's not always what they, it is the answer. People respect people who try to do the moral right thing in the end moral right people some many of the moral right people have died but in the end people respect that they don't respect betraying people they, the the world looks at that and they look at america as we've turned away from the all that's good and if america has one chance to do it right it's to get right back with do what's right get back to god and I encourage everybody to go to this website. It's www.saltandlightbrigade.org. There is a solemn assembly on Sunday, June 14th, starting at 12 p.m. If you can go online, if you can't do anything, it would be the only best way and, and observe it through fast and praying. Um, people will assemble and they you can contact that website for more information. There are also... Maybe some people that are going to pray at the steps at the U.S. Supreme Court. I would encourage anybody to do that. This is that the, this is the time to do this. This is the time to pray for your country. Pray for the people in America. Pray for the pray for our children. You know, no one should want our our country to be subjected to this. No, no one that wants the right thing, at least. God bless you guys. Good night. signing off for the third watch update.